what I do, I, I prefer to let it sit for a day to basically uh, have the ice melt soak in. Um, and it's, it, it's really needed when the, the ice layer is heavy and, and thick and, and with snow in between, like what we had this year, like freezing rain and then snow again and getting warm and getting cold. So we have all those uh, layers of different compacted snow and ice. So the ice melt needs to basically penetrate down to the ground where the surface is to, to, um, to lift the bond of the ice to the surface. That's what, what makes it way easier to chip. If you chip before it reaches the bottom, you basically chip just chunks of ice, but you don't get right to the surface in most cases. And there's like a whole variety of ice melts, like, like cheap ones and, and more expensive ones. Um, the more expensive ones have a bigger percentage of, it's called calcium chloride. So that's, that's the, the best ingredient uh, for our kind of temperatures we have here in Edmonton. Uh, because uh, it's effective to a lower temperature rate. I've not heard about pickle juice. Um, there are some products in hardware store that, that do have beet juice or organic ingredients. And I actually have used a beet juice pellet kind of stuff uh, I smelled in the past. But I've experienced it is not as effective as products that have calcium chloride. For traction is the best to use, it's called either grit or buckshot or I just call it gravel, like little chunks, rocks of pieces of rocks and um, the sand does not give as much traction on, on sheer ice because it just slips off, right? It, it doesn't basically get the traction with the ice itself. In some cases, it's recommended to cut back your snow bank and so the snow can actually drip onto the lawn and if it gets really good sun exposure, the, the lawn will heat up and basically soak in the, the dripping water rather than having a runoff onto the concrete. So this is what you could do. And what you want to do is basically work out of your knees rather than bending down your back like that and then lifting off your back. So basically take a scoop and then basically just push your uh, knees up and then throw it off. Rather than bending down like this and then bending up again and then throwing it over. If you have a big load to do, you will definitely see the difference for your back.